It's our big story at 10. The city of Green Bay is getting sued by a group connected to the Oneida tribe. The lawsuit comes after the city council rescinded a permit to build a trash to energy plant on the west side. The Oneida Seven Generations Corporation could seek to recoup the millions of dollars it spent on the project. NBC 26's Jonathan Gregg is live at 10 with more. Negotiations between Oneida Seven Generations and the city have been going on since the council rejected the permit last month. Not happy with the council's decision or with recent talks, Seven Generations is taking this fight to court. The city council just didn't do their homework. Oneida Seven Generations Corporation has filed two lawsuits. One demands the city restore the permit so it can build its trash to energy plant. The other asking if the council's decision was legal. That decision by the city council was arbitrary and unreasonable and we, we seek action to overturn that decision. City Council President Tom DeWayne voted to revoke the permit last month. And I feel in my own mind we were misrepresented and I, don't, I didn't like the fact that we were. Insisting the company misled the public on issues like the size and number of smokestacks, one sticking point in recent meetings and cause for public protests. We don't want to be the guinea pig and I think we did the right thing. Oneida Seven Generations insists its gasification plant is safe. Mayor Jim Schmidt supports the project but refused to veto the council's decision. The city attorney is working on a response. The question again is going to be based upon the decision made by the council and what the basis for that decision was. The only hope for a plan to be built here is for the city to reinstate the permit or let a judge decide the plant's fate. The council and mayor will discuss their options in this lawsuit at their December 11th meeting. Alderman DeWayne says if this lawsuit goes to court, it will create bad blood between the city and the Oneida community. In seven generations, they've put up a lot of money so far on this project. Four million dollars in the last year and a half, according to the lawsuit. And in that same time, getting uh, support from the Wisconsin DNR and the Department of Energy. All right. Thanks, Jonathan.